What's going on guys? Today you join me on a Thursday evening. Um, I'm currently about to pick up my ProRam air filter from RST Fabrications. As you can see, there's two Panther Black STs here today. This thing's fully modded out. I think mine's modified and then you look at this, it's ridiculous. Got the WRC vents as well in the bonnet, which look awesome. And here it is guys, this is the ProRam air filter, just the cone and the velocity stack, not the full induction kit. I'll be using the same pipe in. Um, hoses, sorry, but fortunately for me, I live very local anyway, so it's just a matter of me going to pick up the filter to save him shipping it to me. Right guys, so with the kit I've bought, you've got the Velocity Stack, which is made of aluminium, I believe. Um, your hose is going to fix onto this side, and this side is where the, the cone itself is going to fix onto. Inside your box, you've got your um, the cone itself, which looks proper smart. Absolutely massive as well. I've gone for the large with the 80 mil uh, eighty millimeter coupling, but this is a monster. So for those of you who've seen previous videos of me or know me, you'll know that I've currently got the Ram Air Cone, the standard foam one that I bought as a big induction kit. And um, I can't complain about that filter, it's absolutely amazing. Um, however, this is more practical. It's gonna be easier to maintain and clean. It's bigger. They've um, changed the, the shape of it slightly. So it now covers, there's more um, surface area of air being sucked in at once. So technically it's more efficient. Um, you're not gonna notice anything massive of the car performance wise. There will be a very slight increase in performance, but nothing that you're going to notice. Well, nothing that you'll notice massively, but I mean, we'll test that out and see how it goes. There might be a change in noise, but I'll do some before and after clips once it's fitted to see if there is any difference. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. It tidies up the engine bay much more, easier to clean and more breathability for your car. Um, for anyone that's interested in this product, I'll leave the links to RST Fabrications, Facebook page and um, website in the description. So make sure to check them out. A big shout out to you guys for um, sorting me out. So that's how the Velocity Stack sits into the cone. Nice and flush, fits perfectly as well. Jubilee clip, tighten that up and then I'll simply undo my current filter with the one Jubilee clip that's on the red hose. And literally plug and play pretty much to stick it in. Stick it in. Right guys, it is a little bit windy, so I hope you can hear me, but all I need to do to remove my uh, cone filter is undo this Jubilee clip. You can either use a flathead screwdriver or a socket set. Right guys, that is the cone filter off. And as a comparison, here's the new one, which is much much bigger and it looks so much nicer too right guys to install it it's the exact same thing as you did to take it off i'm literally gonna um, plug this in here i had to remove my vac pipe from the plenum just to give me a bit more space because this is slightly larger it's a bit more tight to get in there Right guys, so we fitted the um, cone as you just saw, and now we're about to drive somewhere away from the estate. So basically, I can rev it without getting pissed off neighbours. So yeah, we'll see. If we'll get a bit of a comparison going on. I've got some videos of my old cone, so I'll put them side by side with the new one. I've looked um, back at the footage at both uh, both different air filters and I honestly think this one is very slightly louder, but I don't think the camera picks it up very well. Um, the tone is slightly different, especially from inside the cabin as well. But um, yeah, a little different, slightly, slightly louder. Not 
sure if you can hear that very well, but I mean, the camera probably won't pick it up very well, but it's more of like a, a whoosh sensation. I've put the windows up now so hopefully you can hear a bit more of the um, induction noise from inside the cabin it's much much louder in the cabin sorry for the shaky camera that mount is absolutely horrendous Right guys, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, cheers mate, pulling over for no reason. There's not a huge uh, difference between sound and performance from like the naked ear, especially the camera. I mean, the camera doesn't really pick up very well at all. I'm not sure if these videos will do justice at all really. But um, definitely more noise in the cabin under load, but from outside the car, not a massive great deal, but um, it looks much, much better in the engine bay and the quality of the filter is much, much better. So once again, a massive shout out to RST Fabrications. Again, the links will be in the description. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Peace.